When it comes to processing information and responding to a person or situation, do you resemble the tortoise or the hare? Do you spit out the first thing that comes to you or carefully consider before speaking or acting? I've never been a fan of slow and steady wins the race, so I struggle a little to let others finish their sentences. I also blurt out information that might have been better left in my head. At the same time, my ability to think quickly and act without over-evaluating at times is extremely useful for things like brainstorming, creativity, and making bold choices. And yes, in school it used to get me detention. Daniel Kahneman in Thinking Fast and Slow defines two systems that the brain uses to process information. System one operates automatically and quickly with little or no effort and no sense of voluntary control. System two allocates attention to the effortful mental activities that demand it, including complex computations. The operations of system two are often associated with the subjective experience of agency, choice, and concentration. When I tell people I'm an improviser, they often say, I can't think that fast. Most people know that being a quick thinker helps you improvise. When we think less about everything we're about to do, we're more spontaneous and creative. In other words, we seemingly operate automatically with little or no effort on stage. And while that skill is very helpful in improv performance, that's just a part of the picture. As scenic or long form improvisers, we're also aiming to create scenes that are relatable to most people and feel authentic and meaningful. And for this, we take more time to concentrate on our possible choices, considering each moment, action and response. In our improv classes and rehearsals, we exercise both of these skills to become more agile and well-rounded performers. Thinking quickly and with less self-judgment is the skill that most professionals that I work with in my training sessions have either not had a chance to develop or have suppressed as they've grown up. Nobody wants to get detention. Kahneman provides examples of the automatic activities that are attributed to System 1, including making a disgust face when shown a horrible picture, quickly reading a situation to detect hostility, and completing the phrase bread and, did you yell cheese or butter or something else? Improvisers use quick thinking, like going with the first impulse to complete bread and butter to keep action going and forward the scene. How often does analysis paralysis slow you down unnecessarily? Forwarding the scene at work means giving others' ideas a try. On stage, as in life, we often need to simply make a quick choice, try it, and build on it. Sometimes evaluation is better left for later, when you have more to evaluate. Creative brainstorming is one example of this. Electric company is one of my favorite exercises for improving on this skill. Here's the goal, to keep a consistent rhythm as you create two-word combinations. You can have two players, three players, or up to 30. Two people can play this face-to-face, -face, or you can add people by standing in a circle. Start with everyone snapping their fingers to establish a slow beat, and start slow. You can get faster as you learn the basics, and you should. The faster you go, the more you are exercising your fast thinking. On one snap, one person says a single syllable word, any word. The point is to say the first word that comes to your mind. The person next to them says another word on the next snap. This person says the first word that comes to mind based on the word the first person says. The goal is to have no hesitation so that you keep on the rhythm. Once both words are spoken, everyone repeats them together. For example, person A says green, person B then says flash, and then everyone would say green flash. And for fun, you can add do 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 after that. On the very next snap, person B has to be ready to say a brand new word, and person C, or back to A, says the next word. Again, everyone repeats. Continue this around the circle or back and forth for a pair many times and see how fast you can go. Why do we play this? Everyone has a critical side that evaluates what we say, often before we even say it. This serves us well in many situations, but can also work against us if it causes us to freeze up. So have fun making mistakes at this game. Let a silly noise out if that's what comes out. This is your chance to practice removing the filter and being okay if the perfect answer doesn't come out. Just work to stay on the beat and notice how fun it is when everyone supports you and says both words together with excitement. 
Green flash to do to do. Whether you're more of a tortoise or a hare, I encourage you to practice your fast thinking skill with this verbal exercise. Push yourself to let go of evaluating before creating at times and see where that leads you. Luckily, there's no detention hall anymore. Well, not literally. I'm Amy Laseski, founder of Finest City Improv and director of our professional development program for organizations just like yours. Be sure to check out our signature team building program and learn how to bring these exercises to your team.